Hello everyone, I'm Erika of BeadingSchool.com and you are watching No One Has To Bead Alone, my weekly free beading workshop for every beader all around the world. And I see some friendly faces already. Eleanor is here and Tanya is here. Welcome ladies, please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. That's always a hazard. And I want to make sure that we can connect. And hi, Joyce. And hi, Sarah. And hi, Faye. So nice to see you already. So many countries, readers from so many different countries joining in. For Faye, it's good morning. For me, it's... Uh, late afternoon five o'clock also for sarah and katty and tanya it's five o'clock in the afternoon and kata and we also have friends from the usa and from israel hello corinne and deb from the states also welcome ladies how are you today belinda <laughs> so nice to come together again so you can watch this broadcast this beading workshop from the beading school facebook page or from the beading school club and in case that you are watching from the club and you haven't heard your name yet I see Gunnel Ozo and Nancy and Chloe, just to make sure that you know that I see you, that if you haven't heard your name yet, then it means that I can't see your name. I see you as Facebook user. So there is a link about the video saying, please follow this link to grant the permissions for me to see your comments. So. You need to follow that link and then I can see your name. I can see your face. And hi, Maria. And hi, Maria. To start today, by the way, we are going to beat together the ballerina earring. This is what we beaded last week. This is the Alicia's flower, originally a necklace. And most of you made it into a necklace or a pendant. But there are also megalomaniac beaders like me, and I made an earring. And today, today it is ballerina time. Possibly one of the sweetest, cutest, most powdery, sugary <laughs> jewel that I have made. But before we would start, and hi Sherry, and hi Liv, and hi Chris. <laughs> Before we would start, I have here three very beautiful jewels made following the bead, uh, No One Has to Bead Alone classes. And I really wanted to show them to you. These are recent additions in the Beading School Club. And I just love them. So I wanted to, I wanted to sh uh, show them off. So this set earrings and bracelet is made by Marianne and I think it looks really nice I know that for many of uh, okay I love yellow already so for many of you yellow at the beginning of the year when Pantone announced Pantone announced that the color combination of the year will be yellow and gray then many beaders were like oh my god what shall I do this is an example of what you can do. Mariana made a beautiful, beautiful set of the Volvega motif. And I just had to show it to you. It's beautiful, I think. <laughs> then it's one of the older, no one has to be the long designs. The tutorial is available on the beadingschool.com website. And you can re-watch the... Uh, recording of that class 
on our YouTube channel, Bidding School TV. And this is made by Kathy. This is completely new. This is the same motif that I am wearing today, Alicia's flower. And since Kathy is a passionate beater, she chose passionate colors and joined them into, joined the three motifs into a beautiful statement necklace. And you know, when I see you ladies that you make, you take the time and take the effort to also beat a rope to go with the motive or with uh, the motives, then I know that you loved beating it. <laughs> so that's like extra pleasure. Thank you so much, Kathy. This is beautiful. Big sister Tanya agrees. <laughs> and then I have a third jewel that I wanted to show off. This is also an older Novan has to be the long design, the Admiralty bracelet. And while uh, most of us stayed with a vulnerable version Kata from Sweden today, she just posted this three-row mega bracelet and it's beautiful. And I know that it was inspired by the colors of springtime flowers with irises and daffodils. And it's beautiful, Kata. You give back that feeling when I am looking at a field full of those flowers really beautifully with this with this bracelet <laughs> yeah this is also an older motif but kata just finished it and it's already on screen so and yeah as sarah says they are all awesome and beautiful and if you would like to see more awesome and beautiful jewels then head over to the reading school blog zuzi put together for us a new club designs article and also we have a dedicated blog post featuring the uh, winners of the bidding school competition. So if you haven't been there yet, then head over, leave a comment, share the articles and enjoy and get inspired. So yeah, Faye also says three very beautiful pieces. <laughs> Indeed, I love your creativity, ladies, and I'm super curious, what are you going to make today when we are beating the ballerina motif? Let me see, where is my sample? Here it is. Originally, this was actually a brooch. And then when I beaded it again uh, to test it, then I made it into, for now, half a pair. And after today's, no one has to be on a lesson, hopefully a full pair of earrings. So this is what we are going to make today. And if you haven't done it yet, then you can head over to the web page and we have a brand new address set up to take you there easily so no one has to be the long.com and that's it and then the same page will automatically open the usual bidding school.com slash no one has to be the long slash page will open but to make it easy for you we set up a new address that works in the same way no one has to be the long.com and then you can uh, either download the tutorial for free or if you would like to support the broadcast with a small amount of money then you can also buy it for five euros so, but back to the, back to beading, back to beading. I'm super curious also which version is like talking to you more, the super sweet one as an earring or the brooch one, which is like more conservative, more down to earth. I'm curious. And in the meanwhile, Tanya says, I will also make earrings, but as said, 
I go out of my comfort zone. And Tanya actually said that she might even surprise Katty, her sister. So now, okay, let's beat fast so we can see what Tanya is coming up with. And Zuzi is here, she says. Hi, Erica and everyone. Finally here, we got caught by rain when going home from kindergarten. I'm sorry, but do you have your beads already? Getting your beads. Okay. So, hi, Sharon. Welcome. So, let's see. What do you need for, for the motif? Let me find my second camera. Yeah, here it is, the real life version. <laughs> and let's look at the motif. Let's look at the beads on my bead mat. So, if we start with the big beads and if we start from the middle, then you will need some gem dual beads. I am using a metalist color and I don't actually know the name, how it is called, because it was a gift to me from Niti, this color. So... It's from the Metalist series, but I don't know the exact name. Then I am also using, you will also need some half tila beads. And let me tell you, uh, some of the half tilas, they are connected to both of the gem duos. And this is where I usually made a mistake when I was beading my second piece. So I would, really recommend for you to set aside exactly 12 pieces of the half tila beads because then it will not happen that accidentally you pick up too many beads because yeah it will be you will see it will be easy to <laughs> uh, to to make a mistake here so be careful with your half tila beads you will also need some four millimeter preciosa bicon beads i am using the pink sapphire matte preciosa bicon beads and these are the ones that made the motif so super sweet <laughs> and then so these are the big beads that you need and then from the small beads you will need some round 15 seed beads i used one color you will need some round 11 seed beads. I also used just one color and also one color of the Miyuki Delica size 11 seed beads. Besides that, you can decorate and personalize your motif as you wish. You can go the uh, you can go natural, you can go sweet, you can go fiery. There are many, many, you can go elegant. There are so many possibilities that I'm sure that every one of you will come up with something beautiful and something completely different. What I have used here, I used the bow tie ear stud this was part of the first luxury component uh, collection of components and now it's uh, possible to get it from the beading school bead shop on its own so for me this is the first time that i'm using it if you have it have you used it already and then i used you know, like usually I really like to attach glass drops in metal settings to the bottom. However, I was making this when I just received my summer spirit box and the two components that you see at the bottom that are layered on top of each other, this fan flower, which is, I think, super cute, and then this it's also a charm glass and cubic zirconia in metal setting i attached it on top of it and if you decide to grab the summer spirit box then everything comes in the style of the same inspiration rose vine and riding my turquoise bicycle but you might get different colors of the 
of some of the components. So I made this little collage to show you that what is possible. And you know, like when I got all the pictures from the warehouse, then I actually got jealous of those warm yellow sunshiny, sunshiny uh, fan flowers because I think they are absolutely beautiful, but all colors actually. I. I, I, I will have to place a complaint and tell the ladies that I need them all. <laughs> and from the flowers, there are also different colors in the summer spirit box. I will, by the way, just pop here the link in case that you would like to have it. Then we still have it available. And Vania was asking today, by the way, there will be also some gemstone beads in it and chains decorated with, uh, with glass beads and even these summer style tassels that you can hang at the bottom of a pendant, for example. So, by the way, there is also a bonus included. So everyone who decides to grab it, I would like to invite you for a summer spirit party that will happen on the last Friday, uh, last Friday of the month. So on the 27th of August, it will be happening instead of no one has to be the lawn. And you can, you are highly recommended to bring a bottle of the uh, of rosé and the contents of your summer spirit box and we can play together and let's start beading i'm really looking forward to this and let's start beading Vanya is here today also, and Ula joined us. Oh, and Corinna knows the color of my uh, gem duo. It's called Metalist Yellow Gold. Thank you so much, Corinna. <laughs> and there are my illustrations. Sarah, yes, Sarah is asking, is the Zoom only for them who buys the box? Yes, this will be for those beaders who grab the Summer Spirit box so we can play together and hi Sharon. So I start with a comfortable length of thread and I start by picking up four pieces of round 15 seed beads. I join the four round 15 seed beads into a little circle by beading through all of them. And then I bead through the first bead for a third time too. So when I finish step one, then my thread is exiting the tail and the working end, they are exiting the same bead. By the way, Kata said that she likes the conservative version of ballerina, but not as a brooch. Katy's guess is that Tanya is going black and white. I'm curious. Hmm. If, if, if you know your sister well enough. <laughs> So, and Sharon has a question about the party. Does everyone leave their goodies together in the curated boxes or separate them out? I sort the beads out of the boxes into storage for each type of bead. You can totally even start playing with them, Sharon. Just bring the stuff that you make from it so we can like show to each other that how did we use them. So it's up to you. Oh my God, and Vonia asked for a day off. I'm really looking forward, Vonia, and thank you so much for, for your dedication. A 
face so far looking at her component. <laughs> so now I am exiting the round 15 seat bead, the first one. I pick up two pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. I pick up a gen duo. My metalist yellow gold gem duo, as Corinne says, and two more Miyuki Delica 11s. And then I bead through the round 15 that I am exiting now one more time. So the Delica beads, they will form a little V shape around my motif. And okay, sorry, ladies, I will turn my gem duo because I started to be bead in the opposite direction compared to the illustration. And I don't want to, I wouldn't want to confuse you with it. I want to follow precisely the illustration. So I need to turn the gem duo. Sorry. So my thread, my working end is hanging towards the left. Gem duo adjusted and then two more Delica beads. And then I bead through the round 15 one more time. So this is how it looks like at the moment. And I finish step two by beading up through the first two Miyuki Delica beads and then through the same hole of the gem duo as I have been using before. Vanya, it will be freestyle. It will be like showing off what you have done, showing off your ideas, discussing what's possible, what did we like, what did we don't like with the components. So it's about like sharing in, uh, sharing inspiration and showing off our pieces. Then step three, I am exiting the bottom hole of the gem duo bead. And then I pick up two pieces of Miyuki half tilas. I bead through the top hole of the gem duo. I arrange my half tila beads into this little V shape. And then I pick up two more half tilas and I bead through the bottom hole of the gem duo. Now I bead again through the first two half pillars. Hi, Verche. I think we have a new beader here. Is it your first time here, Verche? Let us know and let's welcome Verche. Verche, I hope that I am, I am pronouncing your name correctly. <laughs> and let's welcome Verche to the No One Has to Bead Alone workshop. Now, I am beading through the top hole of the gem duo. And that's where I stop when I finish step three. And then I need a sip of coffee. So next page of instructions. In step four, I am replicating this bottom part of seed beads that are lining uh, lining the gem duo. So I pick up two pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. I pick up around 15 seed beads and two more pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. And I finish step four by simply beading through this hole of the gem duo one more time. So now the seed beads 
are symmetrical around the gem dual bead. Susie's thinking about the second her second box, by the way. <laughs> and hi, honey. I haven't seen you yet. Sorry if I if I uh, missed some comments because there are luckily so many of us uh, today that sometimes I don't notice something. Uh, so please feel free to repeat your comment if I if I maybe don't notice a question. Okay. By the way, Zuzi is Zuzi became an Alicia's flower addict. <laughs> I will explain now step five. So I am beading through a half tila that is on the left side of the top hole of the left hand side of the gem duo. I add around 11 seed bead and then I bead through the other half till on the same side and then I continue all around the gem duo through the seed beads and the half tilas in a way that I skip the round 15 beads in the bottom and at the top and I add around 11 seed bead in between the half tila beads and I finish I continue beading until I am exiting the bottom half tila on the left side of the gem duo so this is how it looks like was this clear ladies I bet that you are reading your second motive already because I'm talking so much today but was this part clear <laughs> and Connie wanted to thank for the tutorial that she got every we just finished the reading school competition now I'm in step six, I'm getting ready to uh, add the second gem duo. So what I want to do is I beat through the first hole of the gem duo. I beat down through two Miyuki Delica beads and then through two round 15s. So then I will continue adding gem duos. So, uh, so, so, so recently we finished the beading school competition and we cheered for the finalists, we cheered for the winners, but we are also cheering for everyone who finished her jewel and who sent in a jewel to the competition. And we would like to, I would like to encourage you to try more stuff try more techniques try more motives so everyone who participated received an email from us this week that you can download a tutorial from the beading school bead shop as a gift from us and Gunnel, Gunnel is also on her second and loves it and Shaila is here she says, hi, sister, I have just seen your summer spirit bag. Hi, little sister. Before you would sur get surprised that there is there are actually three of us and not just me and Yvette, then Shaila is my adopted little sister. <laughs> and we've met in Bergamo two years ago during the master beads exhibition and she was helping me tremendously translating to italian translating to german and then she came to visit me for international beading week two years ago in amsterdam and it was super fun are you beading today shaila <laughs> and hi nicoline Katty chose, uh, chose the sea urchin. Ula chose the passiflora, but then also chose the charlotte. <laughs> Me too, Shaila. <laughs> so, 
during steps seven, eight, and nine, we will do the same as before. The only difference is that in step eight, we pick up only three new half terabits and we will use this wing of the butterfly to connect the two gem duos to each other. I like that work and watching watching uh, a Facebook video. <laughs> so step seven, step seven, focus, Erica, focus. Two Miyuki Delica beads, gem duo bead, two more Miyuki Delica beads. Round 15 seed bead one more time, crossing the round 15 seed bead one more time. So this is, let's say, this is, we have four butterflies in the motif and the bodies of the butterflies are the gem duo. So I added the second, the body of the second butterfly. And then the butterflies are holding wings. <laughs> So at the beginning of step A, instead of picking up two new half terabits, I connect the second butterfly to the first one. The butterfly is holding wings. Then I pick up one wing, one more wing. I bead through the outside hole, the second hole of the gem door. And then I bead through two more. I pick up two more half tillers and I bead in the same way as before. So three new wings for the butterfly, one wing connected to the first butterfly. <laughs> beading to the top of the motif so I can add the two pairs of Miyuki Delica beads and the round 15 in between. So Shaila says, I will not add all the comments now to the screen because then I'm not progressing at all. I'm blaming myself for talking so much today somehow. <gasps> So Shaila says she wants to read all of this later. Nicolene will also be with us. I'm happy, Nicolene. And I'm curious what kind of colors are you using? And everyone. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me what kind of colors are you using, ladies? So now I'm doing the same two more times what I have done before. So I will not repeat myself so, so much in detail. So I'm adding the round 11s between the half tiller beads and I am skipping the round 15s at the bottom and at the top. How are these connections going, ladies? I know that this might be a little bit tricky. So please let me know if the butterflies holding hands makes uh, similarity makes any sense and if it's clear for you how we are connecting the beads to each other today. Nicolene will use gold, bronze, crystal, brown, and orange. Very warm tones, very nicely sounding tones, shades of beads. <laughs> well, when I'm looking at it, okay, the sky is blue now, but it was absolutely horrible weather today here in Amsterdam. Nicolino also lives here in Amsterdam. So thinking about that weather and then thinking about all the warm colors that you are using, that makes me feel, feel good. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Eleanor will start over. She needs another a different Delica. Show us later. <laughs> Merchie likes it. Thank you. May I ask, what was the language that you used in the first part of your sentence? I'm kind of a language addict. Like, I don't have that much time learning. Dutch, <laughs> as I would wish for, but I really love lang different languages. So the Mnogu Ubavo, what kind of language is it? I'm curious. Fay is using Blue Jam Duos and Bicons and Hot Pink Elevens, Gold Delica and Fifteens and the pinkish type of Tila. That sounds really nice, Faye. <laughs> By the way, this is again a design when there are many, many different thread passes possible. So if you want to try another one, if you have an idea, go for it. Don't shy away from trying something new. Tanya is leaving us on the edge. We know only that it's something super surprising from her today. She's not saying anything. Yeah, yeah, she says, I don't reveal my colors yet. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely beaders. We know Tanya for more than a year now. And she told us that she is using something something very unusual that even Katty, her sister, will be surprised. Do you have any any guesses that what are the colors of Tanya today? I'm curious. And then Tanya, don't reveal it, don't reveal it now. I like it that you are keeping it a secret. But tell us if someone can guess. <laughs> By the way, I am just showing you as I am beading now, just out of my uh, head, I am showing you a different thread path that is also possible. Now I am exiting. I have already added the round 11 between the half tillas. I beaded through the outside half tillas. And then I picked up four Delica beads and I bead through the top hole of the gem duo in the opposite direction. I bead through the first two Delicas. I add around 15 seed bead. And then I continue. So just demonstrating that many, many, many different thread passes are possible for the same design. And you can indeed give another thread pass a try. And it will actually, if you, if you start like thinking about it and experimenting, it will make you a better beater and your designing skills like you will need you will uh, see possibilities different uh, new possibilities so if you want to we don't have a challenge this month usually we have a little a little challenge every month in the beading school club but not now but this just came to my mind that if you would like to challenge yourself a little bit, then this is a design where you can like think about different ways of beating it, but ending up with the same result. So afterwards, if you had an idea or if you followed this alternate thread path that I was just showing now. Let me know in the club. I'm curious. In the meanwhile, okay. I don't have any 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 new comments in the meanwhile. I hope that I will check the club. 
yeah, the last one is Tanya saying that I that she doesn't want to reveal her her colors. Does anyone want to guess what kind of colors might be Tanya using if it's something uh, really not typical for her? My guess, my guess is maybe yellow and black and white. Hmm. I'm not sure if I have seen anything from you yet in these colors. Honey also thinks that Tanya may be using black. And now I got to the fourth little butterfly in my motif. So I am first adding the gem duo in the same way as before. So two delica beads, gem duo, two more delica beads. But then when I am at the part that I am adding the wings of the butterfly, then instead of four or three new wings, I will add now only two new wings. I start by beading through the outside hole of the half tilla from the previous motif, and I pick up only one new half tilla on this side. I bead through the outside hole of the gem duo, then I pick up again only one half tilla and then I bead through the half tilla that is attached to the very first gem duo. And then I bead through the first hole of the of this last gem duo bead. So this is how it looks like. And you have four gem, four half tilla beads connecting the gem duos to each other in the inside circle. And then each gem duo has two more wings in the outside circle. So that makes it 12. Katie also is guessing black and white. And she says, maybe she has placed somewhere in order without telling me. <laughs> I don't recall now if Tanya ordered black or white beads from beading school. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> Let's see afterwards. I'm curious. <laughs> So, and besides Tanya, what kind of colors are you ladies using and what are you beading today? I'm adding the last round 11, by the way in between two half tilla beads. So I finished adding all the half tillas and gem duos and seed beads around them. And now what I need to do is I, I, I will bead actually three times around the edge of the motif and I will add more beads. So I will start from around 11 bead that is in between two half tillas my thread hanging towards the outside of the motif in the meanwhile Katy says she's not beating just listening to the broadcast thank you for being with us Kathy, even if you are not beading today. Janet, hi Janet. Are you also a first time beater with us by the way? I'm curious. And if yes, then I'm super happy that you are, yeah, that you decided to join us today. Janet is using purple and yellow and white. Lynn, hi Lynn. She uses purple and turquoise and silver, some of my favorites, especially turquoise, of course. They did not make a decision yet that what is 
her motive becoming. But everything is possible. Earrings, pendant, brooch, even a ring, bracelet. So you have too many possibilities, maybe. <laughs> and then Eleanor says, she is using white and gray, gray silver and burgundy. That will look super royal. Okay, Janet is not a first time beater, just doesn't comment a lot. <laughs> then welcome back. So, I'm exiting now around 11 bead. And I will always add, while beading all around the motif, I will always add pairs of round 15 seed beads between the round 11s and between the outside holes of the Miyuki half dia. And then I pick up a 4 millimeter bicon bead and one more round 15 seed bead and I bead through the round 15 that is on top of a gem duo. And now in the opposite order, round 15 seed bead, 4 millimeter Preciosa Bicon bead, and I bead through the open hole of the half tila. And again, two times round 15 seed beads because now I am connecting the outside hole of the half tila to the round 11. And then I add a Miyuki Delica bead between the two round 11 beads. So this is how I will bead all around the motif. <laughs> And Lynn is asking, have you used any of the polymer clay flowers I sent you last year? Not yet, Lynn. Thank you very much again for your gift, but not yet. I still have them. Everything is like in the kitchen on the windowsill, actually. And I'm, I'm uh, often like looking through them and when we were still able to get visitors, then I was showing them all the treasures that I received from you. And they are super special. <laughs> Kata, are you beating today? Are you beading a whole set already? I don't see you also commenting. <laughs> but sorry, no pressure. <laughs> and what are your colors, Honey, today? Mm -hmm. And how is it going, ladies? Are the instructions clear? Can you follow? Possibly you are, probably you have already a motive or two finished, I guess. By the way, if you have a feeling that your motif is not laying flat, then you can always add a filigree component from the backside, like I did with, this is the original actually, just sewing the motif to the component with a couple of stitches. Or another way, and Marion likes to do that, that include, and also some other of our readers started doing that, that you can include the motive 
in your bead embroidery and then it adds some extra stability to the motif and Con Ula says finally having trouble getting the pattern with the mail app on my ipad if i go via the browser i find it there can be a difference indeed we are thinking about a way to simplify it but for now if you find a way thank you for like good, uh, giving it another try in a different way for now this is what what we could what what we could set up for the two two uh, patterns for the support one and for the downloading free download one so thank you for your patience with it Connie is beating the one from last week. She says, I was away for a few days with friends in Drenthe. Oh, that must have been beautiful. Do you know that Vincent von Hoch, probably you know, as I am just learning more about Dutch culture and Connie, is, Connie was born here, but Vincent he said that he would be happier if he has never been to that area because it makes him want to go back and makes him miss it uh, uh, so much because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, Tanya says that the instructions are okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. And Kata says, I am beating. I was distracted. Someone is moving mountains in his apartment. And for a while, I thought that we need to uh, uh, rebuild the house. Oh, I hope you will have a calmer weekend, Kata, and you can you can relax without all the noise. Marion, do you need anything from me to explain it once again? And did, uh, did you manage to did you manage to uh, download the tutorial so it can support you if if you have a different pace of beating, or or just post your question in the club afterwards if if I or any member can be of of help to you. Lynn says, enjoy your weather. It has been so hot here on the West Coast in Oregon. Cool for a few days here and next week, brutal 100, 105 degrees for five days straight. After all this heat, I am not loving summertime anymore. I can totally understand that I am a summer go uh, girl, but yeah, and this, this year we are having a very cool summer in the Netherlands with lots of rain. So I actually miss a bit of summer, but last year with the really unusually high temperatures, that is not how it's supposed to be. Sarah is not beating, she's shopping. <laughs> Beat shopping, Sarah, with your certificates as your prize from the comp prizes from the competition. Sarah, if there is any problem, then just drop an email. I'm sorry about that. And we will sort it out on more on Monday. So now I am adding the last delica beads bead. I just love when it's when a bead is like fitting so nice and tight in a in a in a gap that it's like when you put in that last piece and then like it's just perfect. <laughs> that 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 popping of the last bead that's like <laughs> A beater's pleasure, I think. <laughs> and then in step 14, I will add some more beads. Mm -hmm. 
Lynn is congratulating Sarah on her on her uh, prizes. <laughs> Vania got the Summer Spirit box with her prize. Vania is also one of our winners. I'm so happy that we made you happy. So now I am adding groups of Delica, round 11 Delica. Here in between the two round 15s that I have just added in uh, added in step 13. And this is how I did all around. And here, actually, it's also possible, if you want, you can uh, switch the round 15s to uh, around 11 to around 15 then it's a more delicate delicate look Yvette will I have to say Yvette will actually be on a little vacation but of course we have other other ladies from the bidding squad team who will take care of you if you if you order some things uh, during the upcoming two weeks or if you write us an email then it will be andrea who will write you an answer or me or Adam, depending on what do you ask. <laughs> and Yvette is celebrating her birthday on Monday, by the way. So that's a good reason to have a little holiday, I think. <laughs> Nicolin says it's not the easiest pattern I, uh, you made, but I can manage, I think. It is, but it is a lovely pattern with the butterflies. I, I was thinking about it when I was choosing the pattern for the workshop. It's, if it's like straightforward enough, but hopefully the tutorial, especially the printable file, and also looking back at the video will help you if you are not sure about something or just ask a question in the club so I can help. Oh, Lynn was uh, picking apples. Oh, and she's talking about apple pie. <laughs> one of the one of the nicest treats that you can get if you are visiting the Netherlands and I discovered that treat only when I moved here I uh, I have been to the Netherlands before and I actually had lots of Dutch friends as my village where I come from it's a sister village of a Dutch town but I have never heard of the special Dutch apple pie and I must say that that discovery it was really really worth it I love it <laughs> especially in a good old style brown cafe together with the coffee for cared <laughs> which in translation actually it's something that you can get in very old dutch pubs here it means that uh, coffee with a mistake but even if i'm like 
very very picky about my coffee then it is something that i really like to drink also because of the atmosphere and because of the apple pie i can have have it with <laughs> Katie loves that apple pie too. <laughs> Good to know that I'm not alone. And Kata says, we are experienced enough to make this one after reading so many patterns, I think. And Ola, Ola finds it clear. I'm happy, ladies. And Tanya says, it is nice to have a challenging pattern, but I think the text, the designs, and now your explanation is very clear to manage the motive. Happy birthday to Yvette and a nice holiday. <laughs> Alicia is asking, have you given any thought to having another Adelaide workshop? Also, what about more kids for Chandra Davy in Mountain? Thank you for your question, Alicia. We have like lots of plans and late September. I would really, I don't want to make exact promises yet, but late September, I would love start to start teaching again with a new website and setting up all the new systems around it because it's not just a website, but actually lots of, lots of, lots of things happening in the background as luckily with your with everyone's lovely support from here bidding school is growing we have more colleagues now so there is lots of work in the background that's maybe not visible but yeah i had to make the decision that for a while i am not teaching but i hope to return to it late late autumn Let's see, keeps me keep me fingers crossed. <laughs> and the kids we started to started to order uh, beads for different kids just now. I'm not a hundred percent sure about Chandra Davy at the moment. I uh, we will need to look into it. But according to my inform information, shooting star is coming again. <laughs> Mm. Hey, you were the first to download it and then after you downloaded it then I noticed and I corrected it so just shoot me an email please and to email at biddingschool.com and I will send you the corrected version on, or navigate to your account on the page when you are logged in and it should be available already I corrected it right away when I noticed it Thank you, Tanya. I would love to, but I also, for the sake of the no one has to be the long classes and for everything else happening, I I had to like take it slower a little bit for now. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> So I am at step 15 and this I am going to make afterward. So what I am going to be, uh, do in step 15 is that I bead one more time around the motive and but I will skip all the round 11 seed beads. So I will skip the round 11s which are here next to the Delica. And I will also skip the round 11s here at the corners. So that will make the whole motif tighter and more stable and more flat and everything. So that's how I will finish it. And then afterward, my extra components will come. And dear ladies, thank you for your attention today. As always, I loved spending time with you. Thank you in advance for showing me your variations. And 
Yeah, let's head over. It's time for Tanya to reveal her ballerina. Then I should finally shut up and head over to the club so we can we can see Tanya's surprising colors. There won't be a coffee time with Erica next Tuesday, but I am looking forward to meeting you again on Friday, exactly as space says, with the next motive. And next week, we are going to be together on other summertime earring. Well, mine is an earring, but you can totally make it into a bracelet. Look at this. This would be even with the Rivoli or Chaton. Sorry, I have a purple velvet where she has a Chaton here. But this would also be perfect as an element for a bracelet. It's up to you. So I am looking forward to you with this one. Thank you very much, ladies. And have a nice evening. I'm wishing you a nice evening. Looking forward to your creations. And see you soon. Bye bye, bye Belinda and bye Faye and bye Tanya and Corinne and Kata and Zuzi and Deb and Kathy, Nicoline, Honey, Maria, everyone, Alicia, Faye. Goodbye, ladies. <laughs>